Today we are removing the stereo from a 2007 Jeep Liberty. This uh, is in the shop for the speakers uh, cutting in and out intermittently, uh, or actually in and out all the time, and the CD changer not working. Uh, we're going to start with setting the brake, uh, placing the key in the ignition, and uh, shifting to a lower gear. I don't know if you can hear the audio problem, but it's, it's cutting in and out and there's a loud pop. And we're going to start with a Phillips screwdriver and way down next to the 12-volt uh, inlet is a Phillips screw. And we're going to remove this screw. Next we're going to take our pry tools and start at the edge of the dash and pry this panel from the dash. sides and this panel pulls forward. Uh, you have a choice now of pulling this panel forward or disconnecting all the connectors here. Uh, we choose to cheat and just pull the panel forward. Next we're going to go back to our Phillips screwdriver. You'll see two torques on the outsides. We're not going to remove those. We're going to remove the two Phillips. One up at the top left, one down at the bottom left. Top right, one at the bottom right. I'm going to grasp the front of the radio and pull it from the dash. It's going to come forward. The connectors are all short on this one, so I'm going to remove the connectors and then tell you how to do it. Okay, on this radio there were three connectors. There was the antenna, uh, steering wheel controls, and main speaker and power. Uh, the antenna here has a black base on it that goes into the radio and you want to grasp this black base and pull it directly out of the back of the radio. Uh, it sits in this way. So you want to pull that back out. That will release just with pulling pressure. Then we have the other two main connectors. Uh, the connectors obviously are different sizes so you don't have to worry about where they're going to fit when they go back. But on the top of this one there's a little trigger here. And this trigger you push down with your thumb and it releases the lock that's on it and you're able to remove it. Uh, same for the larger connector, the trigger is also in the center of it and you push this trigger down and it allows you to unlock the latch and remove the uh, connector. This is how you remove the stereo from a Jeep Liberty. See our other videos at carstereohelp.com, repair quotes and so on. I uh, hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.